Well, from Macomb to Elida, this next feature story focuses on an Elida graduate who recently found herself halfway around the world. Jennifer has more. Thank you for being with us, Kayla. Thanks, Jennifer. You are a film production graduate from Huntington University. You've been doing the television and film work since about 2009, 2010, so you've got a lot of experience already. <laughs> but we want to talk today about how God is using your talents in some very special ways from some mission trips that you recently got to do. You know, we hear about mission trips a lot. Um, I think mission trips are great. A lot of construction mission trips, a lot of let's go work in churches, but your mission trips have been a little different, haven't they? Yes. Uh, my mission trips are mainly fo focused on taking the gospel and filming it and bringing it to life in that sort of way. So we're not going in in building houses or feeding hungry, which I feel like is very important. Right, right. But at the same time, um, I've been able to travel to Japan and take the gospel and visualize it. Go ahead and tell me about your first trip to Japan. How did it come about? What led you up to it? And then what happened when you got there? My first trip started back in January and I got asked in December. And it was right around the time where I declined the trip to California and the internship in California. And that had always been my dream to go. And, but something felt off about it and I just felt like God was telling me not to go. And obviously I was excited that God was telling me not to go, but there's still that disappointment of, well, what do I do now? Like, I've always wanted to do that and go there and what, like, what do you have for me now? And then this trip to Japan came along and it was like, no, nah, I'm not going to go to Japan. That was never a trip that I, or a place that I wanted to visit or a culture that ever struck my interest or anything like that. And I was like, immediately said no and talked to my friends and family and uh, mentors. I was like, no, you should go. Like, we think this is what it, what you're called to do. And I was like, okay, I guess. I ended up going and we filmed three different um, traditional Japanese rituals and um, I just fell in love with it. And when I came back, I just knew that I had to go back. There was something else that God had for me there that I didn't get or it wasn't ready for me at that time. And I tried everything that I could to go back and I was thankful enough allowed to again. And this second trip was kind of a little different. I was going by myself and meeting up with a group of people. And it was a group of people that I have never met before. But the guy that had asked me was the head leader of my first trip. So I was kind of an honorary missionary um, member of their organization. So you, you filmed the special rituals the first trip. Mm -hmm. um, what types of things did you do in the second trip? The second, we focused more on individuals and the issues that they have in the culture. So the first trip was the culture in general, looking through a spiritual side and how Japanese like um, kind of, I don't want to say combining uh, Christianity with their beliefs, but kind of like in that sense where they're taking the gospel and adding it into their tea ceremonies and taking their basic traditions and adding the gospel into it. And the second trip was focused on how the culture views worth and um, disability and like these personal struggles and focusing more deeper in individuality. Now, every time I talk to anybody who's been on a mission trip, they typically always say, I went over there to help others, but in the end, I found myself being changed. Would you say that that has been the case for you? Oh, for sure. The first trip I was like, I'm going to go there, I'm going to film, and my faith is going to shine through, and I'm going to change all these lives. And no, it's, it's totally different. And then, like, you, you go on this trip to have a close relationship with God and have Him change you. And like I said, Japan was not in a place that I ever wanted to go. And like God puts you in situations where you're forced to grow and you're forced to change and it's, it's awesome. <laughs> Do you have some scriptures that were impacting to you during this time? Yes. Um, for the first trip, Isaiah 6, 8, if I can find it. Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Who shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am, send me. And so the first trip, um, that verse meant 
a lot coming back because I knew that I wanted to go back again. Then for the second trip, I'm sitting in the airport and I break down and I'm like, I've made a terrible mistake. I shouldn't be going like you picked the wrong person. I'm going by myself. This is not. No. And um, a verse that I ran into as I'm sitting in the airport was Psalms 32, 8. And it says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in a way in which thou shalt go. I will guide you with my loving eye. And after reading that, then I was like, okay, I'll go. God is giving you confirmation. <laughs> this yeah. time you were by yourself. You were going to meet up with the team, but you weren't really by yourself. Mm -hmm. God was right there with you yes, going along through the whole thing. Yeah. Sometimes I hear people talk about doing things for Christ and they think they have to be a pastor or they think they have to specifically have a job that's got some sort of Christian title along with it. Mm -hmm. But you're a film production person. You know, you, you're in a society that's probably 95% secular because it's the way the trade is. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to see that in that God is using your specific talents to change people's lives for him? I learned through my, like, my trips that you can't share the gospel without figuring out how people are willing to accept it. And here in the Western world, we're very word oriented and we want to talk and we want to share Bible verses and um, all that kind of stuff. In Japan, that's, that's not going to work. So me going to Japan, minus the language barrier, but sharing verses in that context, aren't, it's not going to click and they're not going to want to gra grasp the gospel. And it's, that country is very scared of religion because of what has happened in the past. And so finding a way to share the gospel in a way that they can understand it, um, that culture is very visual. So taking my skills that I have, even though it's still an American sort of way, and being able to take something out of the gospel and bringing it to life and being able to show it is kind of cool in the sense of I'm meeting them halfway. And the team's meeting them halfway. And it's, there's one Christian TV station that I know of in Japan, and they have hours from like one to six in the morning. And so mm -hmm. it's not a lot, but there, it's, still, it's still there and it's still able to be accessed. And that's kind of cool. So what will happen now with the projects that you were working on? How are those going to be used once they're completed? The first one um, is going to be aired here in the U.S. and in Japan. The other three that we did for my second trip will just be in Japan. And they're, mu they're music videos and they're interviews of personal struggles and stuff like that. And it's all done in Japanese. So it's very fitting for them. So if we take it over here, it's not going to have the same Maybe effect. we'll still have to show it on our <laughs> station. <you know>? Cool. <laughs> But so that's so you can know that your work, your work that you did in that time, it's going to continue to resonate with those people mm -hmm. and your talents are going to continue to be a witness, even though you're not there now. Do you intend to go back or what is your what is your plan for the future? Um, if that opportunity comes, for sure, I'll take it. And if it doesn't, then I'll just keep telling people about Japan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kayla Lane. 2011 Elida High School graduate. We're blessed to have her here at TV44 as well, working with us and uh, just an all around incredible vessel for God. Thank you so much, Kayla, for being with us. Thank you. On Faith and Friends, back to you.